It's the biggest news to come to Narnia in half a decade, and we're gonna unpack it all today. As many of you know, I've been on a bit of a hiatus these last several weeks, as I work on some new script ideas and experiment with some new fresh art techniques. However, I just had to take a pause and bring you this video because there has been some huge news released in the past few days, and I think it's definitely worth talking about here. Now, if you're not a Twitter follower, you might have missed some of this, so you can always follow me on Twitter at Narnia YouTube or subscribe to my Patreon channel for even more updates and hot takes. I'm so thankful for the ongoing support of all of my Patreon supporters out there. We've had some great survey responses lately, and I'm currently sending out some personalized thank you cards with custom artwork to each Patreon. So thanks again for being part of this community. Now, what's the big news? Well, it's official. According to a recent article in The New Yorker, Greta Gerwig has committed to directing not one, but two new Narnia movies for Netflix. Now, this is huge news for a few reasons, and we'll talk about those in a few minutes. But first, let's briefly review the long and sordid history of Netflix Narnia up to this point. Now, most of this news has been curated by the fantastic team over at Narnia Web, and you can find a link to all of their posts and articles in the description below. Believe it or not, the saga of Netflix Narnia all began nearly five years ago, when in late 2018, it was rumored that Netflix had struck a deal with E1 and the C.S. Lewis Company to produce a series of Narnia-related content for the streaming channel. And a month later, the rumors were confirmed. Not only that, we also discovered that Netflix had become the first company in history to own all the production rights to all of the books at once. This nine-figure deal was made at a time when Game of Thrones was white hot, and the announcement of Amazon's Lord of the Rings series had taken the world by storm. Now, this was also a time when, as far as we knew, production for the Silver Chair movie was still moving forward. In fact, the shooting was supposed to have begun around the same month as the Netflix announcement. About six months later, in the summer of 2019, we got our next piece of news. And really, it was the last real news we'd hear for a very, very long time. The Hollywood Reporter announced that Matthew Aldrich was tapped to be the creative architect for all things Netflix Narnia. Now, at that point, Aldrich was probably best known as the co-writer of Disney's Oscar-winning animated film Coco, which led some to believe that the next iteration of Narnia would be animated. Now, thankfully, that speculation turned out to be wrong. And at that point, most of the excitement had come to an end. In fact, in 2019 and beyond, news about Netflix Narnia became depressingly scarce. Now, every six months or so, we'd hear some news, some very vague cryptic hint that Narnia was still in production. But in the last six months, things have really started happening. First, there was the rumor this past November, as reported by What's on Netflix.com, that Greta Gerwig was being brought on as a director for a Narnia project. Now, Netflix would neither confirm nor deny this rumor, but it seemed to ring true. I mean, after all, Greta had already gained high accolades for her work on another beloved book series as the director of the wildly successful and incredibly beautiful 2018 adaptation of Little Women. Now, during that time, she was also wrapping up production as the co-writer and director of the highly anticipated Barbie feature film. But at that point, Greta's role in Netflix Narnia really was just a rumor. Now, that next month, we got some pretty fantastic news that I believe has been majorly overlooked by most Narnia fans, where in an interview with Bloomberg News, Netflix's head of global film actually seemed to indicate that the Narnia films would not only be released on streaming, but they would also be released theatrically. Now, if that's true, this has huge implications for the budget and the production value of these films. But we can talk more about that some other time, because that is the end of this recap, which finally leads us to this week's news that, yes, in fact, it is actually confirmed. Not only is Greta Gerwig attached to the Netflix Narnia project, but she is actually set to direct not one, but two Narnian films. So for all you wardrobe watchers that have been waiting in agony for the past several years, we now have a pretty great degree of confidence that, yes, in fact, these projects are not just moving forward, but I believe that they're on very solid footing to come to completion. Now, for most of us, the first big question that comes to mind is, 
when can we expect the first movie to be released? Well, in my last video covering the HBO Harry Potter news, I talked about how it's in Netflix's best interest to fast track the Narnian project. Now you can check out that video for more info. However, even with that in mind, the release of Netflix Narnia could still be quite a ways off. Now it seems like a standard writing to release timeline for Greta Gerwig is about two to three years. For example, for Little Women, Greta was brought on two years into the project, and from that point on, the film wasn't released until two and a half years later. And for the Barbie project, it was almost exactly three years from the point that Greta signed on until its upcoming release. Now, for both of these films, about half of that time was spent on writing the screenplay. And we don't know how far along the scripts are for these new Narnia projects, so hopefully we're looking at less time. But I'd say that it's still going to be at least another 18 months until we can see a release, if not much longer. Now, another big question that's being asked is, what movies will Greta actually be working on? I've been giving this a lot of thought, and I can actually see it going two ways, and both are really intriguing and possibly unexpected. I'll say this much for now. If I were a betting man, I would bet the farm that Greta's first movie will be The Magician's Nephew. Now, as you may know from several of my other videos, I'm a big advocate of the publication order over the chronological order. However, I believe in this case, a fresh reboot just makes sense. And I believe there are some themes in The Magician's Nephew that Greta may be particularly interested in, including the often downplayed role of Polly in the saga. And finally, there's the third and most important question. I think we're all asking this one. Is Greta Gerwig good news for Narnia? I mean, there's no question that when it comes to telling nostalgic, family-oriented stories in a fresh and interesting way, I don't think there's a better choice out there right now. It's probably the same reason that Disney's tapped her to write the new Snow White live-action adaptation as well. I mean, on paper, it appears that she's really the perfect fit. But there are bigger factors at play than just storytelling here. The real question is, does Greta love Narnia? The Narnia as it truly is, not what a Hollywood director thinks it should be. Will she steward the Narnian stories with the care and respect they deserve? Will she honor C.S. Lewis's original intent that these stories serve to point children and even adults to deeper truths about life, God, and eternity? Because if not, all we'll have to show for all of this effort are some silly stories. And Narnia is so much more than that. Well, I guess for now, it all remains to be seen. But you know, you can help even now by making your voices heard. Netflix is listening. You can start small by just leaving your thoughts in the comments below. Or you can send out a few tweets or even write Netflix a letter. Let them know that we expect Netflix Narnia to be about so much more than just simple entertainment. Well, that's all for now, but I'll be back soon with an all new episode on the great battles of Narnia and their significance in the Narnian timeline. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you soon.